Alright, welcome back to part 3. Last time we pretty much equipped our sword and shield and got a map. This enemy here is a Deku Scrub. Usually you just have to shoot back the Deku Nuts that he fires at us and you can buy something from him sometimes. Or maybe that's a, a kid a kid nut nut. Anyway. Oh Al, well, forgive me my master if I give you this what the Oh, he's just giving us a hint. Tell you have to do is hold forward when you drop from high cliffs and you will not take damage. That's an awesome tip, right? Leaves behind a heart. Into the next room. Okay, what awaits us in here? A floating platform. That's kind of whoa, whoa, it's falling down. Okay, treasure chest. What is it? The mystery deepens. Our first item, our first useful item, really, after the sh the sword and shield, it's the fairy slingshot. Yeah, we know what Deku seeds are. I took a while to find those. <laughs> anyway, I think I need to equip that, so let's uh, set it to the left. There we go. C button there. Knock down the ladder. And there we go, that tip is already coming in helpful. Let's go through here. Got time to backtrack through these dungeons. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun playthrough, guys. I can tell you what. Alright. What are those? I always call them spiders. Oh, those are regular Skulltulas. Yeah. Let me aim this better. There we go. Climbing to the top. Sickness. The link is spider monkey. <laughs> I love the sound he makes with his shoes. Not so much when he's in uh, Majora's mask, I guess. But that's for another time. Alright, these guys take two hits unless you do the diving slash. And, uh, Deku Seeds. I was looking for those. Alright, so we got more slingshot ammo, even though we didn't need it. This room is pretty simple. It's a time session here. We just have to jump across these platforms before the timer runs out. Hey, what's in this chest? The compass for the Deku Tree. Alright. Now let's see what this guy's blocking over there. Easier if I spin him around. I think I could stun him. There we go. Let's let's get behind him. Yeah. <laughs> he had no chance. All right. That, that noise you're hearing back there, the little uh, click clacking, that is a gold skulltula. There are hundreds of those in this game, and I need to find them all. <laughs> Depending on the time, whether we're adult or uh, kid Link, and what items we have, we can get certain Skulltulas. I have no order in collecting these, but we're going to do it the way I've always done it. Alright, to the left here. Let's see what's in this. Um, let's kill the gold Skulltula first and pick up the token. There we go. I was having trouble targeting it. You destroyed a gold Skulltula. You got a token proving you you destroyed it. Yeah. Could it be rupees? Ow. Oh. oh, that was anticlimactic. Okay, moving along. Back to the main dungeon. Let's see if I can... Uh, do this right, we need to drop down through a spider web. We have to bust through. I'm just trying to get lined up 
on the correct side here. You can do it from any height, but... Alright. Try to get this guy out of the way. Okay, one hit if you do the uh, dash, slash, whatever, jumping, slash. Come on, bust uh-oh. <laughs> Thanks, Navi, that was fun. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, that's my first off screen of this Let's Play. Let's try this again. This time going down the hole. There we go. Get these guys named the Piranha Plant. Eh. Deck you something, maybe. <laughs> I'll look it up. Alright, there's our second gold sculptula. I wish we had another item and make getting these a lot easier. But for now, we need to I guess be Spider-Man. Okay. So the first thing we need to do here is I guess collect the gold scope door. No, hit the switch, that's what we need to do. And it leashes some fire that we can uh, lighter deck to stick with. Okay, so let's get our third gold sculptula. I can't remember if you have to backflip or just roll jump into this one. Uh, you have to roll jump. Alright, get back up there. Roll jump. Yeah! Alright, now that fire that we opened up will come in handy in burning the spider web over there. Yep, that's all you had to do. And what's in this room? Let's see, a Deku Scrub. A pissed off Deku Scrub. Well, actually, aren't they all? But this one's special. He tells us a little secret. Forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. And if you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2, 3, 1. 23 is number 1. Well, that makes it easy for me to remember. Yeah, I do think you're a traitor. Holy crap, I wouldn't sell out my brothers like that. Anyway, you just uh, slingshot this eyeball closed here. And into the next room we go. Uh, yeah, I'll listen to you, Navi. Alright, this room isn't as intimidating as it looks. It's pretty simple. The trick is hitting the switch down in the water. Because you cannot duck under that. The switch actually raises that bar for us. And, uh, or maybe it doesn't. It doesn't raise the bar. It just gets rid of the water. It lowers it. That's what I meant. Alright, so you, you have a lot of time. Don't let the clock, like, mess you up or anything. It's not so bad. This part, however... Nah, I'm just kidding. This is pretty easy, too. Just gotta get this guy out of the way. Yes, Navi, I know. I've beaten this many a time. <laughs> I can't skip it on the Wii for some reason. Sorry about that, but all this text can't be... Well, some of it, if I press B, it will skip through. But not, that's not guaranteed. Oh, <laughs> you want to put up a fight, do you? You get a slingshot to the ass, that's what you get. Alright. As I was saying, you just scooch this block up. Oop, and we climb up. And up. And we progress. Into a weird looking room here. Oh, those are bulbas or something. Deku bulbs or... I can't remember. I know it's not... Ugh. Kinda awkward not knowing, but I, I'm sure I'll know by part four. Okay, so light these torches here. And there we go. Pretty easy. Now this room will become important later. Because there's something here where there's a wall that I need an item to get through it. 
and I have to come back later once I get that item. Oh, these are the, the Goman uh, babies. The mini Gomas. Yep. They're pretty easy to defeat. Yeah, this wall right here. We can't actually get through that uh, sealed off wall until, like I said, we get another item. Anyway. Okay, so this seems like a good part to, uh, or a good point to end part three. I'll see you guys next time.